These no bake chalk cluster bars are very, very easy to put together and there's no baking involved. So we're going to get our condensed milk and we're simply going to pour that into a pan, a shallow pan. And then we're going to add our milk chocolate. So it's 180 grams that we're adding to this portion. And then we're going to add our butter. Just cut it into small pieces before you add it. It'll be easy for it to melt. And this is what it should look like in the pan. So now we're simply going to transfer this onto the cooktop on a medium heat. And we're going to continue to stir it until all those ingredients have melted down together. This doesn't take a long time, but you do have to keep stirring it just to make sure that all those ingredients do melt down together. And this is what it looks like when it's all melted down. Just continue to stir until those um, butter lumps have dissolved completely. And then we're going to get our dish. So I'm just going to use a casserole dish. And we're going to get our clusters. Now you can get different flavours of these. These ones are pecan and honey. And I'm going to put two cupfuls into the chocolate mixture at this point. Then I'm going to continue to stir it around until it all can incorporates together like this. So once it's all incorporated together, I'm then going to add one more cup and mix it through. Now if you want a really dry mix, you can add a little bit more at this point. I like it to be a little bit soft and then I can put some granulated nuts on the base at the end. But it's up to you. If you want a bit um, drier, then you add another cup of clusters at this point. So now we're just going to evenly spread this mixture across the bottom of this dish like this. And then we're just going to pop this into the freezer for about two hours. When you get it out the freezer, you can see that it's very firm to touch. And now we're going to put our topping on. So we're going to use the other 100 grams of chocolate. We're going to break it into pieces. And then we're going to add half a teaspoon of oil. I'm going to put that into the microwave on high for about 50 seconds. Check it after every 20 seconds and it should melt down and look like this. You can see it's got that beautiful shine to it. That's the oil that gives it that beautiful shine. And then we're just going to put this over the top and we're going to spread it out. Now you have to be a little bit quick here because that has been in the freezer and that chocolate will set off rather quickly on the top as you're spreading it over. And once you've completely spread it over the top, like this, we're then going to get our granulated nuts and I'm just going to put them over the top like this. And that's how quick and simple it is. So now we're just going to cut it up. I just cut it into um, small bar sizes. So I'm just going to cut it this way first, evenly slices. And then I'm going to turn the dish around and I'm just going to do three cuts the other way. I believe that gives you a nice portion with this one. Very quick and easy, no baking involved. Very easy one to put together for a child's party or you've got friends coming over. And then what we're going to do, now if you put extra clusters in, you won't need to do this step. 
but you put some nuts on the base and as you take it out of that dish the base will be a little bit sticky like this so then I'm just going to press that into those nuts like that and it gives you a nice little group of nuts on the bottom when you bite into it and that's it do that with all of them once again just press it down into there like I said if you put more clusters in when it was a wet mix and made it really quite dry you won't need to do this because it will set a bit harder and this is what they look like so I'm going to turn it over see there's nuts on the bottom now you just want to keep this one refrigerated so I hope you enjoy it.